This is going to be the shortened version of the video I did earlier uh, about how to get a hardwired Ethernet connection to your computer uh, using your cell phone. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Uh, simple, easy. This will give you a hardwired internet connection out in the field if you're doing work, trying to set up cameras, trying to unlock audio systems, video systems, um, pool pump equipment, anything you need um, to have a landline that you can't get a landline to off of your cell phone. This is good for temporary setup, the homeowner's not there, or if you just want to test your own equipment, if the homeowner doesn't have what they need out there, you can at least set your stuff up, make sure your job's complete, and get out. Now you have to set this up from your shop, your office, your house, um, to take it with you to make it mobile. You'll need your phone, you need a laptop, you'll need a wireless repeater. I'm using a Linksys um, RE6300, I'll put a link in the bottom. Uh, it has to be a repeater version and make sure it has a LAN or an Ethernet connection out of the bottom, out of the side. Nerd Gear makes an expensive one too. It's about $35. Bucks. Um, I just get a little bit better range out of my Linksys if I'm using it for wireless also. So the first thing I need to do is turn my Wi-Fi back on because I had it off. I'm going to find the Linksys extender setup. Now if you're using a used one, just push the reset button on the side of it. Um, I had this one laying around from just working on jobs over the years. Uh, I always keep stuff like that just in case on the vehicle with me. Once you connect to it, it'll open up a, um, a launch window basically, so you can set this up. Now the reason you have to do this is because you can't um, be on the Wi-Fi on your phone and use the hotspot on the phone also. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go to my computer go to my Wi-Fi settings and find the Linksys, which we just plugged in. I'm going to click on that. We're going to connect to it. And when you connect on this, it should take you to a, um, a login screen. Uh, if not, it'll pop a prompt up down here in the bottom corner telling you to click here to set up your extender because we haven't set this up yet. Now, once we get to the extender setup, uh, we're going to accept the terms and agreement. I'm going to start the setup. Okay, on this particular model, depending on what model you pick, you'll have to find in the menu where it is, but on the 6300, it comes already set up for a range extender. And again, you want a range extender, not an access point. Um, it has to say range extender on there or you can't connect via mobile devices bouncing from piece to piece. So we're gonna hit next on that. It's gonna look for our networks. Now, when you first set this up, it's probably not gonna find your hotspot, even if your hotspot's turned on. I always found that you gotta click this and turn it back on to get it to actually pop up. Since my phone's been sitting by the repeater since we started the video, it's already there. Sometimes it takes it a minute for the phone to actually send out the signal to get to the repeater. Make sure it's close by so it'll actually pick up the repeater. So I'm gonna click on my cell phone. I'm gonna put in the password for it. Hit next. And it's going to connect to the hotspot again, depending on your phone, depending on whether you're on an LTE, whether you're on a 5G, what kind of connection you're on. It may take longer than the other, but you should see your phone at the top where your uh, time is. It should be flashing blue and you should be seeing where it's trying to send out a signal to the hotspot or to the extender. This can take up to a minute. I've had it take up to two before and I've actually had to try to start over again, but for the most part, it picks it up pretty quick. Now, my iPhone doesn't support a 5G network output. So I'm gonna go back down here as soon as it's done. I'm gonna put up, I don't need a second network. And then you can actually create a password for this if you want to. You can change the name of it if you wanted to. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. Um, gonna hit next. Um, as you can see, I mean, as close as this is, your phone does not put out a lot of signal. So you're gonna to have to keep your phone close to wherever your extender is at the time. Shouldn't matter if you're on a job site anyhow. And we're gonna just do a password. I'm gonna use the same password for everything so I don't forget I'm gonna reset the thing anyhow. So can't type and talk at the time at the same time. So I'm gonna finish the setup menu. I'm gonna save it. We'll skip registration because I don't need to. And our extender setup ready to use now. So now just to test this theory, again, I'm by my Linksys. My uh, time is lit up, so I know I'm actually connected to something. It doesn't really tell you what here, but 
If it's blue, it's connected to a hotspot somewhere. And my Lynx is actually is green. So when you first plug in your router or your extender, depends on how long it takes it to connect. Some take longer than others. Um, this Lynx seems to take about a minute to do anything it wants to. This is an old model. This was a pull from a house. So, um, don't know how strong, how weak it is. It seems to work perfectly fine for what I'm doing. So just to test my theory out here, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi completely. I'm gonna take my LAN cable. I plugged it into my computer just then. Go plug my LAN into the hotspot. Like so. And automatically pulls up my Linksys, which is connected to my phone. I'm gonna go to Google. And it pops right up. I'm gonna do a speed test. I'm gonna run a speed test. And again, depending on your signal strength, your bandwidth, uh, everything else, this will vary. Uh, I've got up to 15 before. I've got as low as two. Um, but the important part is you're actually connecting. Now, you're not going to watch movies. You're not going to run a gigabit switch. You're not going to run a thousand devices. But if you're hooking up one device at a time and testing that device, this is phenomenal for that. Um, one of the main products I do is Rust Sound. And Rust Sound comes factory locked. If you're not a factory or an authorized installer, you can't even unlock the product. And many times I get to the house before a homeowner's even there, so there's no Wi-Fi, there's no internet. And basically I can't unlock the equipment until the homeowner shows up. And if you do new construction or new things for a living, you know that sometimes this doesn't always go as planned. Sometimes you plug it in, everything works phenomenally. Other times you plug it in and nothing works. Uh, so I'd rather work out the bugs before a homeowner gets in there. And that's all there is to setting up a Ethernet LAN connection using your cell phone. Hope everyone liked the video. Please click like and subscribe.